Com. The death of police recruit John Kahn will end in the hands of a jury. No trial date's been set, but a Norfolk judge agreed to allow a jury to decide whether this case will be tried as a wrongful death or be decided as a worker compensation case. John Kahn died following intense training back in December 2010. He was hit several times in the head, and the medical examiner said that training contributed to his death. Only reporter Andy Fox was in court when that vital decision was made on how this case will proceed. Andy. Tom and Alvita, a critical decision was made today. Circuit Judge Mary Jane Hall gave the Kahn family a huge win. A jury and not a judge will decide if this case remains as a worker compensation case or proceeds as a wrongful death case. And that could mean a huge difference in compensation for the Kahn family. The city of Norfolk thinks police recruit John Kahn's death was an accident while on duty and should be settled as a worker compensation case. Kahn family attorney Jim Lewis disagrees. The city claims this court doesn't have jurisdiction, that it is a workers comp case. We claim this court does have jurisdiction. Lewis quoted the medical examiner who said Kahn's head-to-head -head collision here with another recruit may have played a significant role in Kahn's death, but other blows to the head cannot be excluded as contributing to his terminal head injury. You don't know for fact which one was the one that actually killed Mr. Kahn. Andy, that's exactly right. That's, that's, that is at the base of this workers comp issue. Lewis says he interviewed the medical examiner and says the medical examiner cannot exclude these blows to Kahn's head by instructor Leldon Sapp as contributing to Kahn's death. Lewis that's argued that's if we don't know that's for that's sure that's which that's blow that's killed Kahn, that gives Lewis the right to let a jury decide if it is a workers comp case or a wrongful death case, which could mean more money to the Kahn family. Deputy City Attorney Joan Mahoney. Are you satisfied with the judge's decision about the jury deciding whether it's a worker comp issue? We don't have any comment to make today. Thank you. Due to pretrial publicity, Mahoney wants to move the trial to Roanoke. Lewis wants to keep the trial here. The city attorneys uh, are afraid of how the citizens of this city are going to respond to what was done to this man. Deputy City Attorney Wayne Ringer. Why do you think it's important to move the case out of Norfolk? We don't have any comment to make to you. At all? In our case in the court. For our money, they're just running from the truth. What and is the truth? The truth is, this young man shouldn't be dead today. He should be alive. And he's dead because of the way he was treated. And there's nothing wrong with the citizens of the city of Norfolk trying that case. Lewis thinks, as a general rule, jurors are more sympathetic and emotional to people like the Kahn family. Judges tend to be more wrapped up in the nuance of law. The change of venue hearing takes place on May 17th, but it is clear from people following this case that what happened today could very well lead to the groundwork to make some type of out-of-court settlement with the Kahn family. Interesting. Still not over. Nope. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Andy.